What's up guys, Nolan here. Got a quick one for you today with this small patch for the base game last night. The TLDR is there's new clothes, so if you think these cosmetic microtransactions are ruining the game, be sure to tell me in the comments about it. While you're down there, let me know what you think about the tasks that they added that allow you to earn those exact same clothes as well. Not saying they're not difficult, but hey, at least there's a way for us to earn it in game. The binary pop is still there, and since this patch has been a bunch of recent asks for changes to the game or fixes and stuff like that, I'm gonna assume they're having trouble get that one done for some reason. Maybe it's an engine issue or something like that that they can't really seem to solve or they think when they move to the new engine it'll fix it itself but if that is the case and they have it for mid-year that's still a few months away just a bit weird that they haven't been able to fix that one yet that's all i really wanted to put out there on that subject the silent crab walking seems to be gone though so that's a big plus i say seems because i saw tfg doing some tests with mixed results while others saying that it was gone so i don't know for certain generally speaking though I think it's much quieter. The patch notes sound like they lowered the ADS sound, but it's still audible. They didn't remove it completely. Also some changes between switching to melee weapons, switching weapons depending on the length of the weapon. When you guys get in there, you'll hear for yourself. Overall, they haven't seen to break anything new yet, so that's a plus. We're still waiting on a connection of Arena to the base game, as well as a roadmap for the year for the base game. So stay tuned as those are the biggest things in terms of news coming up. Event wise, we should be getting a new Chronicles of Rizzi event any day now, really. So we'll see if it involves another global scavenger hunt and puzzle solving or not that's for sure the sons of soon wheelhouse right there so if something like that pops up the place to be is in our discord if you're interested in stuff like that you can also follow me on twitter for updates both of those are linked in the description and in case you don't know who the sons of soon are that is my cult apart from tarkov i will have the chance to play gray zone warfare this thursday for the first time with dozens of other content creators any and all things that you guys would like me to try or specifically get into when i get into the game let me know in the comments I'll try to get them for a video on Friday as soon as possible. But I will get to play the game for several days. The video on Friday is going to be more of a first impressions thing. But again, if you guys want me to check out something in particular, I will. In case you missed it a couple weeks ago as well, I got up a tease for messing around with VR Tarkov, aka Ghosts of Tabor. I'm having a lot of fun, but I am not ready to make any real content on it just yet. I'm still getting my VR legs and it's a lot of work. But those who don't know, Ghosts of Tabor is literally VR Tarkov. Up, and it for sure belongs on this channel so that's the plan luckily i don't get motion sick it's just having not done vr before is it's just a lot to get into and a lot to get used to before i feel like i'm anywhere near ready to make videos as if i am an expert which i am definitely not going to be an expert on any of this stuff it's going to be mostly a gear review i'm using an index about my first impressions with the game getting into vr for the first time and having that be chosen as my game to get into for obvious reasons stuff like that at first but i do have a few helping hands that are going to help me get into the game timeless vr rengar and hyper rat we're all interested in playing at some point so we'll get into it from now on i will be addressing a few top comments from the previous video at the end of each new video so here's what we got for today i'm getting annoyed with stupid people if you heard that at the end of the last video then you know otherwise go listen not going to repeat it here lots of people were talking about that and uh, appreciate the support i'll put it that way imagine losing your gear to a booby trap laid by a boss you never saw fair point there but i hope that this person is not surprised because we are talking about escape from tarkov right that sounds exactly on par with this game let me know what you guys think were we expecting things to get easier around launch because i wasn't a few comments about eod that i mostly agree with i do not like that they are doing that either in terms of adding an addition of the game that is better than edge of darkness edge of darkness was supposed to be special and they toss it out the window i've already talked about that a couple times there and i'm sure people are going to talk about it playing so we're going to leave it at that when that actually releases we'll give it its own video and we'll see what's going on with that new edition so put that on ice for now i agree with you guys if you want some attention on your comment make sure to leave a good one below that's all for now though guys check out my star citizen channel for wave one patch 323 gameplay and check out my gaming channel for broken arrow and manor lords i got early access so gameplay is going up real soon otherwise thanks for watching and hope you have a nice day see you guys